Hello everyone, welcome to the session. So in this particular session, I'll talk about some interesting interview based problems, which is based on a binary search, which I am pretty sure you already have watched my recordings for that. So let's get started. Please try to understand the problem statement first, then please pause the video, think over the solution and then unpause the video and see whether whatever approach you are applying is correct or not. For sure, this will help you to enhance your problem solving skill. And that's what I used to advise to all the students, whosoever is just starting their journey towards data structured algorithms. Okay. The more you think about the problem statement, uh, about the uh, problem solving thing, the more you will be able to get an idea that how basically we should approach for any kind of a problem. Okay. So please try to understand the problem statement now. So first of all, as I told you, the major prerequisite to understand this problem is that you should have a good understanding of the concept of a binary search, which everyone should know. I am expecting every, everyone is already aware about this concept. Now the question says that suppose you are having an array suppose you are having an array okay and inside that array you are having a list of numbers for example you have the values like uh, maybe 20 maybe minus 30 yes there can be a negative values as well 10 5 7 uh, maybe 0 uh, maybe you can say 29 Okay. And after that, there are values which are infinite only. After that, all the values are infinite. Okay. Like this. So this is a kind of an array which is given to you. So what we are saying is that, that there is an array which contains as of now n elements. Okay. n elements. It means the array index by default is starting here from 0, 1, 2 and we are moving and approaching towards the last element which is having n minus 1 index. It's quite simple, right? Now I know everyone is curious, what's the problem statement? We got an idea that okay, one array is given to us and in that array some hypothetical uh, infinite value I am saying is there, okay? Now let me write some further here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. My question is that you need to calculate the index of a first infinite number. What's the question? Again try to understand. The problem statement is that try to give me the position or return me the position of first infinite element first infinite element this is the this is the question that which is given to you by the interviewer so he is providing some array in your technical interview and he is saying that in that array some hypothetical infinite is also there so at one point of time you are having the numeric values and afterwards you are not having any numeric data only infinite values are there so what's the position of first infinite? For example, here it will be 8, here it will be 9, here it will be 10 and so on. But the output that your code should return or the logic that you will provide to me, suppose if he's asking just for the logic part. So what is the logic you will provide to me so that the output should be 7? Because that is the index where the first infinite is coming inside the array. Think over it. What will you do? For example, here it is zero. So it can be negative number. It can be zero. It can be positive. Anything can be gi given to you, but it's just that after some instant of time, after having all the integers, the next number towards, uh, that is infinite. And afterwards, once this infinite will come after that, all the values are infinite, all the values are infinite. Then again, no, I would say integer will come. I hope that the problem statement is pretty much clear to everyone. Now, just pause the video, think over it, that how can we optimize the code? How can we reach to a solution where there is a lesser 
time and space complexity requirement. I am expecting that you already paused the video. Let's try to discuss it step by step. The very first thing which I am expecting that everyone, everyone is able to get an idea that that thing we can apply here is that you can say to me that one thing which you can do is try to do the linear search here. What we can do here that we can maybe use a linear search where what we can do is that in linear search it will try to pick up every element step by step and it will make one simple condition that if the value present at r of i is equal equal to the value of infinite that we have at that point of time we can simply return the value of i otherwise loop will move on so here we can apply simply one for loop and inside that for loop we can apply just one condition it will again and again check that the value which is present at that particular index is infinite or not for example it's, it's by default starts from 0 it will say that the value present at 0th index is 20 whether that 20 is equal to infinite no it will move ahead minus 30 no 10 no 5 no 7 no 0 no 29 no infinite yes that's what i'm looking for so it will return the value as 7 here to me i think this approach is correct i think we will be able to get the correct response also the expected output also but what do you think is the time complexity here now i am expecting that everyone knows that how basically we can compute any time complexity here we can apply only single loop that is also running from the value of i equal to 0 to n minus 1 means until n number of elements that we have so can i say that here the approach that we are looking for is having a time complexity which is order of n and yes with the help of this approach i am uh, clearly seeing that we can be able to get or reach to a solution that is expected but the question is can we optimize this can we reach to any other solution who is having a time complexity lesser than order of n what's about the space complexity before thinking that am i using any extra space no so as such there is a constant space complexity requirement but time complexity is order of n so we need to think now specifically about the time complexity where I will be able to reach to a solution that where the time complexity is less than order of n. Do we have? Now another searching algorithm that we have is binary search. Now the question is can we apply somehow the approach of binary search here? Now the very first thing which maximum students will say no we can't apply if i'll ask you the question why is that so you directly say to me that you only said that whenever we are dealing with an array the very first preliminary condition to apply a binary search is that it should be a sorted array right now here i will say that your understanding is not apt it's partially apt you are seeing the array just physically but not logically that's what i will say to you What's the meaning of that physical, logical, array? We are not able to understand, right? Let's again try to think more clearly here, right? Please pay attention towards this particular part because I have seen a lot of students who used to say a wrong answer here. See here that when I used to say that array should be sorted while explaining the binary search, I also told you that why I am saying this part because that sorted array is helping in my searching algorithm to decide that whether it should go towards left or right, right? Now in this particular case, when I'm having a n elements size array, in this particular case also, am I able to decide that whether I should go towards left or right? Now think here, please pause and think, please see. Here, if suppose I will be able to find out the middle value, just like the way we used to do in our previous sessions, which will be i plus j minus i divided by 2. Once I will be able to get the middle value, suppose I am getting the middle value as, I am just hypothetic, hypothetically taking this th thing. Suppose I am getting the middle value as 5. 
okay now what i can say is that is the element which is present at this mid position is infinite or not suppose if it's not infinite can you clearly say that whether you should go towards left or right what i am saying is that that if suppose the element which is so here i am just trying to write the logic just like the pseudo code so you can use any of the programming language your logic should be same right if the value of the r of mid that you are getting is equal equal to the infinite first of all let me talk about the not equal case if suppose it's not equal to infinite so can you say that whether you should go towards left or you should go towards right at that point of time think here i am pretty sure that what i told you in the problem statement that first of all all are integers and after that infinite will start and afterwards all the values are infinite so here we are very much sure that if suppose here the value is not infinite it means that the first infinite should always be present towards the right side of the array so it should always be present towards the right side of the mid it should always be present towards the right side of the mid right otherwise if suppose it is equal equal to infinite suppose you are getting the middle value and that mid value is something which is equals to which is equals to maybe this number suppose this number now here you can just check one thing if it is infinite so whether you should go towards left or right you just need to check one thing that what is the previous index number here if it's infinite it means that you have the idea you will be able to get an idea that you should go towards left side and explore towards the first infinite if not it means that this is the only first infinite index that you are having it means what i am saying is that that if suppose the value of the r of mid is somewhere is equal equals to infinite now there are two things which can happen one thing is that this might be the first infinite just like in this case here you can just check one if condition by applying that the previous index value is infinite or not if it's not infinite if the previous one is previous index element that you are having if it is suppose not equals to infinite not equals to infinite it means that this is the first infinite 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 that you are getting at that point of time you can simply return the value of the mid because that's the index that you are having otherwise for sure if that value is infinite so you will explore towards the left side of the mid you should explore towards the left side of the mid i hope i am making sense to everyone right so here even though my array is not sorted here you can see that the array is not in a sorted fashion but still we can somehow apply the approach of binary search why because here in this question we can easily clearly set the path that whether we should go towards left right or we can directly return the value of the mid and these three conditions are only there when we are applying the binary search in our previous sessions as well right so here the only thing that you have to note here is that the important point to note now is that that always whenever you are looking for an array whenever you are looking for any kind of array always think that whether the array is logical or in other words i can say so in the note we can say that in an array we can logically apply binary search or not rather than just thinking about physical sorted array logically we can apply binary search or not means logically that can be having a clear distinction 
between the left side movement and right side movement very crucial point that you should think of left side movement and right side movement if logically you can move either the left side or the right side as clearly demonstrated in the binary search approach you can anywhere apply a binary search it's not just about physically array should be sorted it's about logically also can we sort the array in such a way that we can clearly move towards the left side or the or the right side of the array and with the help of this example i hope everyone is able to understand what is the meaning of logically right here logically we can clearly distinguish that whether we should return the value of mid or whether whether we should go towards the right side or we should go towards the left side of the array that's what is the important statement which i want to state here and that's what it serves the purpose of the complete video i hope that everyone here is able to get the understanding in a broader sense about the binary search now and if in future someone is asking you such kind of problems before answering no directly by just seeing that okay the array is not sorted you should think over it and then answer it accordingly think that whether you can logically divide your array into two halves and divide the search space into two halves if yes then clearly you can apply binary search algorithm there it's just a modified version you need to modify some sort of coding but the thing will remain same the logic will remain same because here we can clearly divide our array into right and left part of our search space with this i hope that you will be able to get a better understanding of uh, the binary search uh, with this happy learning to all bye bye everyone if you still have any sort of doubt do let me know i'll for sure try to resolve it as soon as possible happy learning to all bye bye everyone see you soon in my upcoming session